my name is Sloan if you're new here and if you're not welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'll be doing my everyday makeup routine or what I like to call it because I don't actually wear makeup every day is my go-to makeup routine so that is what I'll be doing in today's video for you guys and also I don't know if you guys can tell or not but I also got a new ring light which I'm using right now um, off of Amazon uh, I really like it so let me know in the comments if you can tell a difference or if you like this lighting better because I would like to hear y'all's opinion without further ado let's just get into the video okay first thing in my makeup routine is primer I'm using the elf poreless putty primer and just putting that on my face and then rubbing it in I also just wanted to mention that I switched my nose hoop to a stud. Really happy about that. Looks good. Anyways, back to the video. Um, if y'all see me looking down, I'm just going to be looking in my mirror when I do my makeup. Next thing to do is brows. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe. And I am just going to be doing my brows. Also, if y'all would like to see a more in-depth eyebrow routine in a separate video, I can totally do that. Just comment down below if y'all would like to see that. Then I'm taking my Makeup Revolution concealer and this small eyeshadow brush and just carving out my eyebrows with that concealer. Then I'm just taking my Laura Mercier setting powder with a slightly bigger brush and just setting my eyes. Okay guys, I just wet my beauty blender. Now I'm going to do concealer because I actually don't wear foundation. Uh, I just wear concealer in the places that I need to, like around my T-zone, under my eyes, my forehead, chin, you know, the basic stuff. So I'm just using that same Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define concealer and this is my holy grail this is my go-to concealer that i always use and can we just talk about the coverage on this concealer it covers my dark circles and redness on my face like magic then just taking that laura mercier setting powder again and just setting under my eyes then going in with that concealer again and just putting on my forehead around my nose on my chin anywhere else that needs it and blending it in with the beauty blender. And once again, just taking that Laura Mercier setting powder and a big fluffy brush and just setting my entire face. Then taking this Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and just setting my brows with that. Then going in with my Holy Grail Bronzer, the Butter Bronzer, and just warming up my face with that. And for blush, I'm just using this Milani Powder Blush in the shade Romantic Rose and just giving my face some more color and life. Then using my Lash Curler from Ulta and my Lash Sensational Maybelline Mascara, I'm just going to be curling my lashes and putting on top and bottom mascara. My lashes look hella long. What the heck, bro? This is new. I'm not mad at it though. <laughs> Taking this highlighter from e.l.f. in the shade Moonlight Pearls in this Morphe highlighting brush and using my Mario Badescu spray, spraying my face and putting on highlighter. Ooh. Ooh. Y'all see that highlight? Come through, highlight. Y'all be really sleeping on e.l.f. though. This is an e.l.f. highlighter, y'all. Y'all need to hop on e.l.f. and get e.l.f. I'm telling you, that is blinding. That's an e.l.f. highlighter. That's crazy. Okay. Anyways, continuing with highlight, I am just going to take the same e.l.f. highlighter that I just used and my Mario Badescu spray and um, a small eyeshadow brush like this, uh, kind of pointed. Gonna spray that with the Mario Badescu a little bit. And then just taking the same e.l.f. highlighter and I'm going to put that um, on the inner corners of my eyes just to brighten it up, make my eyes pop, you know? This really does wonders, I'm telling you. 
with any eye color that you might have. Uh, and I'm also uh, putting it on my brow bone a little bit just so it makes the face just look glowy, you know? So we're just putting that on the brow bone and the inner corners of our eyes just to make everything pop and look it just makes your eyes pop that is a tip to anyone watching this that doesn't really want to wear eyeshadow they just want to wear mascara like me that's what i always do um but you want a little pop a little extraness for your eyes to sparkle or something do that i would tell you that's my number one tip that i would give so if you want your eyes to pop just put a little inner corner highlight and it makes the biggest difference i'm telling y'all and the last step to my makeup routine is lips so i'll either just wear plain basic simple uh lip balm or i will just line my lips with a like a nudish pink a close uh shade slash color to my natural lips and then i'll just put some gloss some pink or clear gloss on top and then that will be uh the look my everyday makeup so today i think i'm feeling more glossy lips than just lip balm so i'm just taking this um laritzi i think that's how you say it. um just a random lip planner i have around uh laritzi cosmetics it says in the shade bare um, and it's just a nudie pink, like natural uh, shade. So I just wiped off any uh, foundation or concealer or any makeup of the sort that I had on my lips, just so I got my natural lip color back and um, now I'm going to actually line my lips. So I just lined my lips with that lip liner and I also just filled my lips in a little bit with the lip liner color and I also just a tiny bit overlined. Uh, I did not, uh, I just like did like the oval shape or the circle shape on my uh, cupid's bow because I don't like that really defined like that type of thing. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, but uh, kind of like a brat's look or just to make your lips look bigger this is the dior lip maximizer in the shade o2 um and it smells really good too lots of my makeup smells good i don't know good job to the brands for y'all doing that it smells good uh but yeah it smells like vanilla like vanilla mint that's how i would best describe it but this is one of my fave lip glosses so i'm gonna go put that on And then the last thing I have to do in my makeup routine is since I have a nose piercing, I just have to wipe the makeup off of the nose piercing because it gets makeup on it. And if you want it to sparkle, uh, I just wipe the makeup off of it. This is the finished look in my go-to makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are interested in seeing more videos like this in the future. And if y'all would like to follow me on my social medias, they'll be in the description bar down below. And by the way, I just wanted to let y'all know that I think I figured out a posting schedule that works for me. So I'll be posting a new video every Sunday, which means that y'all get a new video every week. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.